A couple of years ago in Indonesia, they stumbled upon a Komodo dragon, a 10-foot-long lizard which was devouring a huge monkey whole, without even chewing. And it seems like the monkey was alive. It took the Komodo dragon a few seconds to completely swallow its prey, and it didn't seem to be inconvenienced by this. Do you know why? Komodo dragons even have a special tactic designed for hunting monkeys. A little later, you'll find out the reason behind this eating habit. First, imagine a Komodo dragon, 8 or 10 feet long, about 220 pounds of weight, a long neck and tail, strong sharp claws, plus teeth designed specifically to tear prey apart. In short, that's a real killing machine, which doesn't even have to use any strategies to catch prey. And yet, Komodo dragons know exactly how to hunt monkeys. To catch a primate, a giant lizard needs to disguise itself. It just needs to lie motionless on the ground because the color of the Komodo dragon acts as a camouflage. As soon as the monkey approaches, the lizard whacks it with its tail. Have you seen this tail? I couldn't find information about the exact force of the blow, but I definitely wouldn't want to feel it. Here's the point where you should feel sorry for the poor monkeys. After all, Komodo dragons are such a pain in their neck. Poor creatures. But first, we are talking about wild nature where there isn't much place for a moral code. And second, monkeys are not nearly as harmless as you might think. In fact, they're bullies. Monkeys are well aware of what harmless teasing is, a kind of game with no place for aggression. But sometimes they go too far. And this usually happens with representatives of other species. Monkeys probably feel great when they bother well, say a tiger, which isn't fast enough to catch them? Just imagine how annoyed predators get. Hey, Mr. Komodo Dragon! What? Never mind. <laughs> hey, Komodo Dragon! What is it? Never mind. <laughs> Maybe one day the monkeys got under the skin of Komodo Dragons and they invented a special way for killing them. I agree it sounds pretty harsh, but Komodo dragons really hunt other animals in a different way. Sometimes they bite their prey and inject a venom that causes the bitten animal to bleed. The bite becomes infected either from the germs in the mouth of the lizard or from the environment. As a result, prey often dies slowly, which can take up to four days. Four days! All this time, the dragon slowly follows the dying prey and starts eating it when the animal becomes very weak. Well, or when it's already dead. In such situations, you don't need to sweat. Well, other dragons also follow them, and this often leads to battles for prey. You have to admit, it's not like the tactics that monitor lizards use with monkeys. It's much more bloody, and it takes more time. Though some scientists claim that such a slow way of hunting is an accident, and Komodo dragons deliberately don't allow their prey to escape. More often, they deliver powerful blows with their paws, knock the prey down, and stuff like that. Apparently, there's not enough information so far to make a clear conclusion. After all, you can't ask the lizards themselves. Does this mean all the power of the Komodo dragons lies in their saliva? Is it so toxic that it makes the prey die painfully? For a long time, almost all researchers were convinced that the mouths of the Komodo dragons are so dirty, the microbes in them help hunting. Yes, someone clearly forgets to brush their teeth. What were their parents thinking about? However, in 2009, scientists discovered the real cause of why these giant lizards are so deadly. Komodo dragons have venom glands filled with toxins that lower blood pressure and cause severe bleeding. They also prevent the blood from clotting so that the prey doesn't accidentally heal and at the same time cause shock. That is, instead of using bacteria as venom, dragons use venom as venom. Well, that makes sense. Okay. And what about swallowing food whole? Does this also have some unexpected and very simple explanation? Believe it or not, it does. Swallowing food whole is an evolutionary advantage because chewing requires a lot of work. You have to move your jaws, after all, and it takes a lot of energy. A 2013 study in the magazine PLOS One postulates that the main benefit of swallowing food whole is no time wasted on processing. That is, animals that don't chew receive energy from food, ASAP, not even wasting energy in the process. Solid benefits. Researchers even speculate that some dinosaurs grew so large because they weren't distracted by chewing. And since the Komodo dragon is also a dinosaur in a sense, it also tries to save time. But what if you need to pick up even more speed? You can't chew faster, lizards don't chew. Physiology does not allow swallowing food faster, so Komodo dragons crash into trees. To speed up the swallowing, they'll ram the carcass against a tree to help push it down their throats. Sometimes the force is so strong the trees fall down. Oh damn, I'm late for my flight. Actually, if you look at the diet of these lizards, you might wonder how they still haven't destroyed all the trees on the planet. Well, or at least the ones on the Indonesian islands. Komodo dragons are carnivores. That is, they're awfully carnivorous and eat only meat, occasionally having eggs for a snack. 
Their menu includes literally everything that runs, flies, or crawls around, and the size of the prey doesn't matter. Komodo dragon can eat up to 80% of its weight in one go. If necessary, it tracks down prey at great distances, identifying not only dead but even dying animals by the smell. These are not vultures from the movies that look at everything from above and then start circling over a man lost in the desert. The Komodo dragons know exactly that their soon-to-be dinner is almost dead when they start pursuing it. Even a distance of six miles isn't a problem when you're going to have a good snack. Ah, oh, can you feel the smell of decay? An animal is dying somewhere. Yes, yes, it's the animal. But do you know which item on the menu of Komodo dragons goes over the line? Human remains. Oh, guys, this is a bit too much. Okay, who am I fooling here? Sometimes Komodo dragons attack humans, because we're no worse and no better than their usual food. And sometimes they dig up human graves because corpses are no better or worse than their usual food. Well, in this case, they just have to dig a little. There's just one fact that's quite difficult to ignore. Some animals, including humans, do not eat carrion because they can die exposed to toxins of a dead body. Unfortunately, I couldn't find exact information why the Komodo dragons can't get poisoned when eating rotten flesh, but maybe the reason lies in the process itself. After eating, the Komodo dragon crawls away to some sunny spot to speed up digestion. If it doesn't do this, the meat inside can begin to rot and poison the dragon. Moreover, their metabolism is considered slow. A large Komodo dragon needs to eat only 12 times a year. So why do they not risk their lives when they dig up a corpse? Perhaps everything works the same way as with vultures. On the one hand, they've developed an extremely tough digestive system that simply kills off most of the dangerous bacteria. On the other hand, vultures seem to have developed immunity to some deadly bacteria. Species that kill other animals feel at home in the gut of a vulture. So sometimes Komodo dragons attack people. Sometimes they dig up graves. But the problems don't end there. One day, a Connecticut farmer noticed that some predators were attacking his chickens. The man decided it was most likely an alligator. Who else can you expect in this region? Imagine his surprise when the farmer found a Komodo dragon in the chicken coop. Just in case, here's the state of Connecticut. And here's where our giant lizards live. Far away. Apparently, the Komodo dragon was once kept as a pet and then released well, or escaped. In any case, the animal ravaged farms for several months before it was discovered. Good thing the police officers who arrived at the scene managed to subdue the lizard because it is much more difficult than it seems at first glance. Some people believe that the Komodo dragons can be scared away by the cloves of garlic hung around the doors and windows of the house. Others even argue that nature has given Komodo dragons a bulletproof skin. I found several accounts that even firearms can't harm these creatures. I doubt that's true, but people can't be easily convinced. Also, a team of scientists recently discovered that Komodo dragons actually have armor made from tiny bones beneath their scales. Something like a built-in chainmail, which many lizards have, but only Komodo dragons grow their armor in adulthood. That is, it doesn't protect them in their youth. It's simply not necessary because Komodo dragons are at the top of the food chain. There is simply no one to hunt them, and when threatened, they can wait on a tree until the danger's gone. But the chain mail will come in handy during fights with representatives of its own kind, for prey for example. So we have this huge, carnivorous, venomous lizard that has a bunch of killing techniques, is protected by chain mail, and can devour you whole. The question is, what do you do if the Komodo dragon suddenly starts approaching you? From what I understand, the best option is to avoid sudden movements and walk away without turning your back. Komodo dragons can quickly run over short distances, reaching speeds of up to 12 miles per hour, but sometimes Komodo dragons approach a person simply because they consider them a tree. This job's gonna drive me crazy one day. A young reptile fleeing from a predator will try to escape by climbing a tree, and quite possibly you would consider a human a suitable option. Well, why not? He stands alone, he's quite tall, though you wouldn't like it if a Komodo dragon tries to climb you. Remember the sharp claws? Actually, in a situation like that, experts recommend lying down so that the lizard would walk by you. It's a Komodo dragon! I must lie down so that he doesn't mistake me for a tree. Wow, I thought that was a tree, but that's my lunch. See you later.